Overview Ingredients Steps Overview Savory French Toast is a concept I can get behind, and Nigella Lawson does a turn with Parmesan cheese and sourdough in her cookbook, At My Table. Because parm is a dinner in minutes pantry item, but the bread is not, I grabbed the next best thing. Whole wheat pitas. As it happens, they are truly the right vehicle for the makings of stuffed French toast, savory or sweet. Cut into half moons, their resulting pockets provide the right amount of space for tucking in cheese and, in this case, a deftly seasoned batch of ground turkey that will convince you it's sausage. Bonus, there's almost no knife work involved and just one pan. Stock your kitchen with a dinner in minutes pantry you dunk the stuffed packets in an eggy milk mixture, unlike when you make sweet french toast, you can cook up whatever's left of that mixture after your pitas are done. And they get done pretty quickly, because the turkey patties are cooked first in the pan and remain warm while you assemble and cook the pitas to golden brown. They are surprisingly filling, crisp and tender at the same time. Some millennials I know, who are not related to me, have declared these cheesy pitas would make good drunk food. Enough said about that. If you have already shredded grated parm, you'll save a step. Serve with tomato wedges and or your favorite salsa. Ingredients for the ground turkey 1 pound ground turkey, lighter dark meat, 1 teaspoon kosher salt 3 fourths teaspoon freshly ground black pepper, plus more as needed leaves from 3 stems fresh thyme, may substitute 1 teaspoon dry thyme, 1 teaspoon celery seed a half teaspoon dehydrated onion flakes 1 eighth teaspoon ground cayenne pepper for the pitas 1 2 ounce chunk parmigiano reggiano cheese 2 large eggs 1 cup half and half freshly ground black pepper 2 whole wheat pita breads 6 inch rounds, fresh salad greens or frozen defrosted spinach, optional, sweet peppers, optional, step step, 1 for the ground turkey, combine the ground turkey, salt, the 3 fourths teaspoon of black pepper, thyme leaves, celery seed, onion flakes and cayenne pepper in a mixing bowl, use your clean hands to blend well. Step 2 Divide into 4 equal portions, then shape each one into a flat patty that will fit inside a half moon pita. Step 3 Grease a nonstick skillet with cooking oil spray in place over medium heat. Clean the mixing bowl. Step 4 Arrange the patties in the hot skillet. Cook for 9 to 11 minutes total, turning them as needed. The patties should be browned and just cooked through, firm to the touch, 165 degrees at the center using an instant red thermometer. Transfer to a plate and cover loosely to keep warm. Step 5 While they are cooking, prepare the pitas, grate the cheese onto a cutting board. Whisk together the eggs, half and half and a pinch of the black pepper in the cream mixing bowl. Step 6 Cut each pita in half, forming two half moons. Open each one along the cut side and fill with a good pinch of the cheese, then a cooked turkey patty, more of the cheese and the greens or peppers, if desired. Step 7 Use paper towel to wipe out the skillet you used for the turkey. Regrease with cooking oil spray. Place over medium heat. Step 8 Working with one stuffed pita at a time. Hold the cut side closed as you dip the pita into the egg mixture, tip to drain slightly, and then place in the hot skillet. Step 9 Cook for a total of 6 minutes, turning to cook both sides until golden brown, and you can see that some of the cheese has melted. Some of the egg mixture may ooze out into the pan, use your fingers, careful, to press the stuffed pitas down, use a spatula to push it back into the pitas as they cook. It's just softly scrambled eggs. 
Feel free to cook up the remaining egg mixture afterward in the same pan or discard the mixture. Step 10 Cut each pita in half for easy eating. Serve hot. Loosely based on a recipe from Nigella Lawson's At My Table, a celebration of home cooking, Flatiron Books, 2018. Tested by Bonnie S. Benwick. Email questions to voraciously at washfist.com. The nutritional analysis for this recipe is based on four servings. Click here for a printable version of the dinner in minutes pantry list. Did you make this recipe? Post a picture of your dish on Instagram and tag us using number eat voraciously. For a printer-friendly and version of this recipe, view it here.